How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, as always, Hixie Dust, here with another Madden video. In this one, guys, in this season, I should say, we are coming off our first round bye in the playoffs. We are now setting the face off against the Green Bay Packers. These are the highlights from that game, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, opening possession of the game. We're going to throw a little dunk pass out to Tyler Eifert. But he's going to take this way down for more. He's going to stop basically at the goal line. Taking advantage of the short yardage, we're just going to have Barkley run this ball in and get us our first points of the game. Green Bay's possession following our score didn't amount to much. We forced them to punt the ball. This is our first possession back. Barkley's going to eat up some yardage on this play. Pat LaFleur is so mad he's chewing out what I only assume is his defensive coordinator. Unfortunately, our drive will stall out there and we'll send out Graham Gano for a kick. And the 12 year veteran knocks it right through. And the lead moves to 10 10. After is nothing. In an attempt to get something going, Green Bay is going to hand this ball off to Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is going to find a seam and take it way down. We're going to stop him very close inside the 20 yard line. Green Bay trying to capitalize on the yardage from the Aaron Jones run. Aaron Rodgers is going to make a bad throw across his body, and Ryan Connolly is going to make him pay for it. Aaron Rodgers trying to get something going before the half, trying to keep his team in it, but Julian Love is going to snag a ball from Aaron Rodgers. Second pick of the game. Green Bay's defense made up for Aaron Rodgers' pick and held us to field goal range where we send Graham Gano out for his second field goal of the game. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half. 
taking almost all of the third quarter. Green Bay is going to march down to the red zone, and they're going to hand this ball off to A.J. Dillon, who's going to run over Lorenzo Carter, make him pay for rejecting our contract and making him look foolish. all season and now in the playoffs he's carrying it over had the touchdown last week in the wild card game now his second TD of the playoffs showing some consistency and that's something that we have to keep in mind about the playoffs because we often think you have to be spectacular in order to win I think consistent is what you're looking for that can get you to the same there really wasn't much to talk about in our next possession, but it did get us down to the red zone where we were able to kick Graham Gano's third field goal of the game. Aaron Rodgers is going to take his team down to the red zone. He's going to snap this ball. He's going to find nowhere to go with it. He's going to try to scramble. He's going to get hit. Ball comes out, Jabril Peppers grabs the ball, but before he has the momentum to go downfield, he gets ankle tackled. Absolutely, it was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that run. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately Getting the ball after the interception by Jabril Peppers. We're going to try and extend the lead. We try to force a throw, which ends up in an interception against us. Picked off near the 34. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we gotta give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier. And they'll bring him down at the third. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers are gonna capitalize on this great field position where Aaron just whips a ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. This one's not over yet. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if you're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, they have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that in Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. So the touchdown was big. This almost equally big as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. To throw is Rodgers, and that one is caught. So they convert here, and don't look now, but this one's back to a one-score game. And hold the phone now. This game isn't over yet. Not at all. Now, get the football back. That's the first thing. However you do it, get the ball back, and then manipulate the clock with your offense, because you've got to get the ball into the end zone. All right, I kind of let our in-game commentators take over on that last part. Green Bay is going to attempt an onside kick. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here we go. They'll need the recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. And we recover the onside kick, and that's basically going to be game. Fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like with the Basically, with our last possession of the game, we run the clock down, and as the clock runs down to zero, Graham Gano kicks his fourth field goal of the game. A little salt in the wound, I guess, for them trying to do an onside kick. But we take it and we win this game. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from MetLife Studio. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out this video today. 
This was the divisional round in the playoffs against the Green Bay Packers. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this highlight reel style video. And subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything Hixie Dust. Guys, I try to upload as frequently as I can. That's why your feedback is so important. So leave your feedback in the comments section to let me know exactly what it is you're looking for out of this channel. But until the next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep your eyes to the horizons for the more Hixie Dust content, which is sure to follow this video. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much.